We got one more five-star review here. It is from DST22. He I've got says this the one. Okay, you want to read it or you want me to? What's the title of it? The title says the only wrestling podcast you will ever need. That's true. Go ahead, read it, doc. If you could care less about the civil war in modern day wrestling and yearn for the days when wrestling was wrestling, then the BTT podcast is for you. These guys bring the real sports entertainment with shenanigans aplenty. Mike, Doc, and Harper are the perfect team bringing wrestling knowledge, old school psychology, and flips and dives that will have you rolling on the floor and begging for more. Yeah. Yeah. People gave a shit about ratings, dude. Every time I open up my phone, it's this is the ray. Who gives a fuck? Just watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Fuck. For real. Dude, imagine when fucking we were kids, we were sitting, oh God, what was the ratings for Saturday, Saturday the night's main event? Oh God, they ain't had this. Who gives a fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and every goddamn yeah. wrestling page, they, oh, I got it. Nobody was at the AEW show. I got it. They have no fucking crowd. I got it. Fuck. Yeah. yeah that's on Twitter. Of, you got to stay off Twitter. I'm tired of seeing oh, you know, look at all the empty seats. Yeah, we know, motherfucker. It's like last night on Facebook, every two seconds, you still, we have a problem. Shut the fuck. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, they Actually, did. You're the first person to think that up. <laughs> he's salty it's so awesome and it's then they so got like awesome. some, some fucking Halloween decoration that, that I get tagged in 50 million fucking times where someone's got a fucking Undertaker and Paul Bearer on their front fucking lawn I'm like great now, now I'm gonna get tagged in this 50 fucking times and sure enough it fucking happens fuck <laughs> <laughs> I think people just want to include you in things, Harper. Yeah, but it's like, dude, I've seen it. By the time you tag me in, I've seen it a thousand times already. Okay. Bro, he's not well, wrong. He's not wrong. Yeah, that's, that's the like price that, you that, pay that, for being a star, though, man. Yeah, whatever. That's right. You can't eat a meal in peace. Come on, you know better. I know. Fuck. You, the, the public owns you now. No, whatever. You want to talk about some wrestling now, or are we going to complain about I love wrestling. It just, okay. it, you know, how many empty seats are in this place? <laughs> what were the ratings this night? You know, Hopper was just saying something interesting, though, um, before we get into the show. I don't know where he went. He disappeared. Yeah, he's gone. I don't know where he's at. Um, but he was saying something really, really interesting. When we were young, we... I, I kind of get why the internet community or whatever the hell you want to call wrestling fans now bicker back and forth. I mean, I get it, but when we used to flip through channels and find some wrestling, mm. we didn't give a shit if it did a better rating. Oh, that was hey, the Hopper, best day of my week. I'm glad. I'm glad you, I don't know what happened, but hear me out. I was about to start talking about one thing you said. Remember when you were saying like, Back in the day, we watched wrestling. We weren't worried about ratings. Yeah. So, for for the record, you know, before I say what I'm about to say, AEW is just totally just turned me off. I really don't care what they yeah. do. Whatever. I think the best but, days are behind them. But I think they're like I, a team that's like they were like Super Bowl contenders, but now they're finishing eight and eight. Maybe nine and seven. If they're lucky, they might go to the wild card game and get destroyed by the Chiefs. That's how I look at them now. Yeah, it's a it's a funny thing when you put Make it like that because that's <laughs> it, it's also a very TNA slash Impact kind of route that they Probably maybe going. Lying, we'll see. Because I was watching one of them, bro. It, you get had the, the whole. That whole thing, people were like, oh, God, they, they started shooting with uh, Ricky Starks and Adam Copeland. And I'm sitting there watching all the people involved in this. It's like, okay, you got Edge, former WWE. There's Christian, 
former WWE. There's Daniel Bryan, former WWE. And there comes, uh, what's the uh, tag team? Uh, FTR. They're former WWE. I'm thinking Ricky Starks is the only motherfucking that wasn't over there. I'm like, oh, fuck, maybe. This is like TNA all over again from 15 years ago. I mean, the difference I, is I, TNA would be good from time to time. Mm. Yeah. So, but you said something before you got disconnected. You were talking about like who gives a damn about the ratings. And what I was about to tell Doc was when we were kids, and for me, I'm watching Mid South Wrestling on Channel 26. And like a month or so later, all of a sudden I discover holy shit, there's some kind of wrestling on Sunday nights. Channel six? What's this shit? Mm-hmm. And I didn't give a shit what the ratings were for Mid South or W World Class, nor did I care once I had access to TBS on the occasion in the mid 80s when my uh, aunt and uncle got cable. Like the ratings didn't matter. The only thing that mattered to me was fuck. I got Mid-South on Saturday afternoon. I got World Class on Sunday night if I can keep my eyelids open. And holy shit, when I can go by my Aunt Laura and Uncle Joe, god damn, I can watch TBS. What the shit? Like, I didn't give a shit what the ratings were. Yeah, no one gives a shit, bro. Just, just if you like it, like it. If you don't, don't and fucking move on. Like, I just don't, I don't understand it, man. It's it's a tribal thing. I mean, especially it's if you're very tribal. Bro. Yeah, it's a tribal thing. It, it's it's like it's as toxic as any two combative entities right now. It's it, like it, it's got like a political toxicness to it. It's got like a religious it does, toxicness it? to it. It's like Fox it's, News versus CNN. Yeah, yeah. It's it? it's. It's just like gotten so tribal and, and don't get me wrong, man. I, I have kicked in the shins that promotion and their booker way too many times. And th- and that doesn't make me an a-, a WWE apologist. It just means, well, fuck, I don't watch either one of them regularly. If we're going to be honest, it's just very tribal and it in the bickering. And the part that gets me is when the AEW crowd is like, you see, uh, the the WWE feed, they're toxic, motherfucker. So are y'all. No, they're not. Like, like as an they're innocent bystander in yeah. this, watch as somebody who's just watching it from afar. Bitch, that's the pot Whoa. calling the kettle black. Are you calling people bitches or black? Bitches. I'm just. It's like. They, they, I'm. I hear this AEW crowd talking about how toxic, like the WWE crowd is, not for that matter, I, I hear the WWE crowd do the same thing. Uh, if you if you go on any form of social media, the bickering, it, it's like, God damn, y'all are children. Grow the piss up. As we sit here and talk about, you know, Harper doing circle, circle, dot, dot, and his friend banging a deaf girl. I mean. You know, but that's our brand. Like that's what we do. But we don't bicker. We don't even when we don't even we don't bicker. This is what pisses me off. We don't even we don't bicker with other podcasts. I don't give a damn. I come in here to talk to my friends, have a good time. But the toxicness is ridiculous between these wrestling audiences. But you know what? It was the same way with TNA and WWE for years. I think too. Like the, yeah, the, that was a different fucking battle, dude. I mean, TNA it was different. Yeah, was on just. Don't around. you say that about TNA? Oh, see what I mean? I don't know, man. I, I didn't want to go on a rant, but when Harper said what he said about the ratings and stuff, it just made me think about, like, I remember years ago, Doc, you were on the show. You were like, bro, I remember one time I was watching wrestling and I start flipping through and holy shit, I saw some red, white, and blue ropes and it was AWA and I was like, what I'll the shit? What, wh- who afternoon. is this? Who is this, and how can I watch more of it? You didn't I'm give a shit. The slaughter on there. I'm like, wait, wait, what? Right. And I'm trying to get, and I'm waiting for here? the. It was a Saturday afternoon, so the next Sunday, the next right. day, I was getting the newspaper to look up the TV guide in there to see if it was going to be on every week, so that I could watch it every week. And it wasn't, it? and I was, I was sad. Why? 
Because I wanted to watch some more AWA. Ken no. Resnick, dude. No, I'm saying, why was it on just that one time? Because that was syndicated TV back then. They were just like, we yeah. some we random shit on schedule. there. Yes. Yeah. That's what was great the- and sorry about it. Yeah, that that you would happen in New Easter Orleans too, every Hopper. Every week on TV, if you looked hard enough, but there were long stretches where TV was a desert. Especially there if you're was, Mike or I, where you ain't got cable and shit. You might as well just fucking find a Burger King. Hopper, I swear to God, and I, I, I told Doc this when we started covering Smoky Mountain. For the life of me, I wish I could remember, but this is in like 95, so I'm like, you know, 20 years old, I'm getting home late, 20, 21 years old, I'm getting home late one night, out, you know, drinking and doing whatever, oh. and... I'm I'm on like channel 38 or 26 in New Orleans, and I swear to God, an episode of Smoky Mountain Wrestling was on. Yeah, because um, Andrew Mayu used to tell me, he's like, yeah, Smoky Mountain used to come on here. I was like, what? right. It Harper, it was like 3:30 in the freaking morning, and it's on a UHF station, and I never forget. I look in like the TV guide because again, I, I'm a I'm almost 21 i'm probably about 21 at this point i can't remember exactly but i'm like all right let me look at the tv guide because i'm like shit i could stay up you know I could, I could record it whatever i had a vcr by then and i could never find it in the tv guide again damn so i saw this one episode of it i couldn't tell you which one it was but i know it was smoky mountain but mike that's like us when we fought, found ring of honor on that local channel here oh yeah we was lapping it up I wasn't worried about ratings. No, it's like shit. Here's some wrestling I don't normally get to see. Let me look at this. Yeah, if I like uh, it, I'll tune in again. If not, oh well. Okay. That's where I learned to love will, Jay, Jay Lethal. Today's kids will never know the struggle of catching random wrestling on a UHF station. Dude, I, <laughs> and being I, gra- I, and being grateful for that shit too. Right. I, I saw this meme, and it's so true. It's like this generation would never know what it's like to just have a couple rando videotapes of fucking movies and you would just watch them over and over again because you have nothing else to fucking watch. That's all you got. <laughs> like the Nintendo Power Magazine's Hopper. You just flip through the same one for like months on end because it's the only one you got. Maybe I missed a trick, tip or a trick last time. I guess I'll look at this shit again. <laughs> all yeah. right. Well, on that note, that was a great discussion and a lot of fun. Let's let's now jump Uh-oh. into May the 30th of 1992, Saturday night on TBS. Uh, this week's episode, this is the second half of the taping that took place May 11th. Uh, in the intro, we get a replay of the finish from last week with the Dangerous Alliance when they lost a the six-man tag match to Dustin, Nikita, and Steamboat. Missy then welcomes us in as usual. And then JR welcomes in his guest for the week. 